Let's start with Jameis Winston. Um, we'll start out by saying this was the former number one overall pick in the entire draft by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when he came out of Florida State. Um, six foot four, 231 pounds. Big guy, strong arm. Um, you've done a lot of look at his, looking at his video. Take us through a thumbnail, and then we'll get into five, six clips of him. Well, you know, like you said, he's a big, sturdy guy, really good in the pocket. You know, his issues, there's two issues he had. He's had some off-the-field stuff uh, that you would think at 30 years old he's taken care of. And then he's had a problem with turnovers. He's had 90, you know, he's not, had 99 interceptions. He's also thrown for 22,000 yards and 141 touchdowns. So he has the talent. Uh, you're going to see he does he does some incredible things with his arm talent. He's uh, really, really intellectual. He understands where he's going with the football. Uh, he's got to protect the football more. And his greatest strength might be his greatest weakness with that arm talent because he feels – it looks like he feels he can squeeze anything in, and he's always trying to keep the play alive. So uh, a lot of talent. Uh, just got to protect the football a little bit. All right, first clip. Uh, take us through what you see here, what you like in this one. Well, you're going to see, so you, he, he does a really, really good job of climbing in the pocket and being able to hit guys uh, on the run uh, when he sees stuff. So you're going to see him, he kind of breaks down, you're going to get a, a kind of a crossing route here. He climbs in the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield. This is what he does very well with his feet. Not only does he run very well, but he also uh, is able to um, keep plays alive with his feet with inside the pocket. And this is what he does right here. This is good, this idea of knowing where your guys are and, and keeping the play alive, and he does this very, very well. All right, so um, we've talked um, about him in the elite arm talent, and, and I, I'm with you. I think it might get him into trouble sometime. Take us through this clip, what you see here. Well, you're going to see this is 13 personnel, and they're going to run a vertical. And what I like about this is second 10, possible rundown. Uh, he's got all the arm talent you want, so he does a really good job. His foot works very good. Uh, he transfers his weight very good, so fundamentally he's very good. He can throw, throw off um, – off uh, schedule and he can throw off platform but he's really fundamentally sound he stands tall and throws the football this is a dart this is a 60 yard dart downfield off play action uh this is what you see a lot of the browns and this is kind of what kevin Stefanski wants to go to with this vertical pass game and you know jameson can do all this winston can, he can do all these throws he can throw all the outs the digs the comebacks uh and the verticals which is what they want to get to with watson and he kind of he matches that skill set yeah, and you mentioned um, he incredible athlete. He also played baseball and was a pitcher at Florida State, and that you know that's an elite baseball program. Um, but take us through this next clip. Um, what you see here. So this is what I mean by he does He's you know he's a four nine guy back when he was running the forty, but he keeps plays alive with his feet. And there are certain guys. Uh, Tom Brady comes to mind where. They're really good in the pocket with their feet, being able to, you know, going back to my, you know, Dan Marino within the pocket, but he's got enough speed and he has enough knowledge when it's man coverage or he sees a hole to take what the defense gives him. And he does this all the time. If he sees man coverage, he'll he'll get up the field and, and get first downs. And in the NFL, those third mediums, those quarterback runs are huge in the NFL. Uh, you get three to four of those a game uh, when a guy can break, you know, break contain and, and get a first down. So he does a great job with this. Uh, his feet are very good. Uh, within the pocket, he understands where every ball is supposed to be, and he takes what the defense gives him. Yeah, and coming out of college, um, when Tampa Bay drafted him number one, it was a consensus. He was viewed as the generational type of talent. Um, obviously, not quite, hadn't quite lived up to it. Um, take us through this next clip as well. Well, what you get here, this is now this is where you, he gets himself in trouble. So one of the things you said about that I agree with, when he was at Florida State, he was a consensus number one. And one thing that he doesn't get enough credit for is his ability to process information. He's a high-level, intelligent guy in terms of processing information. And that being said, he does a lot of this. So he gets a lot of, um, takes a lot of risks. And when you're on a team that's a win-now concept, you can't do this if you're in the game. He's a guy who can win games. This is a, this is a throw that's on his highlights, but it shouldn't be. This is, this is luck. This is throwing it up in the air, uh, and you can't do this. And this is what the Browns are hoping that he gets out of his system. Kevin Stefanski has done a great job with quarterbacks and making them make good decisions. This is this is his Achilles heel. This is what caused him to be on three teams, his inability to protect the football. Some of his off-the-field stuff, I really think that's going to go away at 30 years old. But on the field, this is what hurts him. His, he's got to protect the football and make really good decisions. Yeah, he's doing that on a third and goal. You know you got points because you're at the eight-yard line. Um, all right, uh, last clip. Um, take us through what you see in this one with Winston. 
So this is, you know, this is what you get. This is this ends the game. You know, he's he just makes poor decisions uh, when he's pressured, and you know, at times he'll he'll stand in the pocket and he'll make great throws like we saw on the first uh, first clip, and then he'll come down and he'll do some of these things where he's just going to kind of deliver the ball, and you're not sure why he's doing it. So. For me, this is, you know, this is just attention to detail. And you, you get a number of things here where he's just kind of throwing it up. And right there, you just get a corner in cover two who's just bailing. And this is just, you know, a screen where the screen's not there. And you constantly see NFL quarterbacks just throwing the ground. And that's what he's got to do. He's got to live to fight another day. So he does this on screens a bunch. And then you're just going to see he gets a little bit of pressure here, stands up, and just fundamentally becomes unsound and throws it right to the linebacker. So not only are some of his... Um, interceptions frustrating fundamentally but they're just really really poor decisions this right here is just cover two again and he throws it to the corner so he's got to clean up this you know these these kind of these uh, horrendous interceptions when he's under pressure and when he feels like he has to make a play he doesn't have to carry the football team he's just got to be a part of it